let's solve the advent of code 2021 day 10 puzzle using Perl. This puzzle is about mismatch parentheses and other syntax, and when you just look at the sample data, it, it reminds me of Perl. Now, Perl doesn't come with a read eval print loop, but it does come with read eval print and loops, which is good enough for us. Great. So let's start by reading the input. There they are. Now the first thing we're supposed to do is to find the lines with unexpected terminators, like a left paren closed by a right brace. To do that, we need to simplify each line to remove the matching terminators, and what's left will be the unmatched ones. So we can start by rewriting the lines to remove the trivial pairs. Remove parens, brackets, and braces, angle brackets. There we go, we removed some of them, but that only gets us one level of nesting. What we really wanna do is nest this entire pattern inside each of these. And in fact, we wanna nest repetitions. And we can do that in Perl by using a recursive regular expression, which is not really regular anymore, but it still works. Using the question mark zero. So if we try that, now we've removed all the matches, and that's what we need. Okay, so let's save that. Right, so reduce lines of sample.txt. That looks good. Now, if there's a mismatched closer, it has to be the first closer on the line. So we can just look for it. Let's see, something that's not a, per, um, a paren bracket brace or an angle. Reduce lines sample.txt. Okay, that works, and we can save that too. While we're here, we'll just take the strings that actually have something on the line. So we can reduce lines sample.txt. All right. So now we found the um, bad closers, and we're supposed to give them a certain score. In particular, let's see, a paren, a closing, um, unexpected closing print is three, bracket is 57, brace is 1197, and greater than is 25137. Okay, so now we can map scores broken reduce lines, sample.txt. All right, um, now we just need to add them up. You can't see that, but that's a vector of strings, and there's a bunch of different ones in there. So to add them up, this is Perl, so we'll insert plus signs in between everything. There we go, 26,397. So let's save that. Puzzle one is going to be a val join, broken reduce lines of the first argument. Puzzle one, sample.txt. Puzzle one, input.txt. Let's see. All right, on to part two. Now in part two, we're supposed to ignore those broken lines and look at the ones that are just incomplete and then figure out how to complete them. And then once you complete them, you interpret the completion strings by giving one, two, three, and four points, the different ones, and then this multiply by five ends up um, interpreting them as base five. And so let's figure out how to complete them first. So first we need to pull out the incomplete ones. Let's do that. We can prep for the ones that um, have, let's see, paren, square bracket, brace, less than, only. Right? Oh, I don't know why I have those quotes there. That's not right. There we go. So the incomplete reduced lines. Oh, that didn't work. What did I do wrong? So hard to read these things. All right. Um, I don't know what I did wrong. Let's see what reduce does. Okay, that's right. So we're looking for a beginning of line, paren, bracket, Brace less than only those, 
all the way to the end of the string. It really looks like it should work. Oh, I forgot the braces. I'm amazed that even parsed. Probably didn't parse. Our read about print loop is probably hiding the errors. There we go, that's better. So these are the incomplete lines. Now we need to turn them into completions. We can do that by just reversing the strings and then turning the openers into closers. And so to complete it, we can reverse them. And then we also need to turn the openers into closers. And the way that the Unix TR command is spelled in Perl is Y. I've never really understood that. But that will replace all the openers with all the closers. Say so complete of these. There we go. Now we're supposed to score those results. As we saw, the score, the first thing you have to do is just replace all the closers with their scores. So paren, square bracket, brace greater than, or one, two, three, four. Um, yep, that's right. So then we can score these. And that looks plausible. And then we need to pull out the middle score in sorted order. So first we'll define something to define the middle. And then we'll sort them. We'll pretend that they're decimal. Um, they're close enough for sorting. The middle one looks like that. That's plausible. And so now the only thing that's left to do is to turn it into base 5. And as far as I know, Perl has no way to turn something into base 5. But BC does, and Perl's good at using other commands. So let's do that. All right, so then base five of this. Well, that didn't work. That's very wrong. Oh, I forgot to read the output. Try that. That works better. Except we're off by one. Close BC. Let's try this again. Base 5 of 100. Well, it's really upsetting me. Not quite sure what I did wrong with BC here, but it's sort of working. Huh. It's really weird. We just close BC. Yeah, that seems like it's working. Okay, good. Anyway, base five of the middle. No, still very confused. That's that's the answer. All right. Well, so be it. Such is Pearl. Don't know why I had to do that twice, but let's see. That's the right answer. We got our stars, and Pearl was Pearl. Have a nice day.